Many of our viewers have sent us a request to do our tutorials in English. After careful consideration, we have decided to develop our channel in English only. We would like to say thanks to all of you who already subscribe to our channel. And we are inviting all new viewers who would like to learn how to become better editor and colorist in DaVinci Resolve. Today we're gonna show you how to do clone trail effect. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve 17 in edit page. Today I'm gonna show you how to do clone trail effect. It's really easy, so let's get into it. So what we have here is a clip that we have to decide where to do basically this effect. I will use the arrow key on my keyboard. So this is the spot that I would like to, to do it. So one thing is just uh, mark the, the video clip, press Alt and copy to another layer. So next thing is if you want to freeze frame, you can use uh, control uh, on your mouse. So go right click and change clip speed. Click it on freeze frame and change it. I go shift and using letter R. And uh, the one thing is just grab it uh, video clip on the right hand side. So just go over the play hat and everything is almost done. So you can see freeze frame and uh, live video beneath it. So what we would like to do, I will show you in inspector. So one thing is if we go with this effect, we would like to get both of those ballerinas in one clip and one clip only. So what we have to do is uh, we have to mask this one to get the effect. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on this uh, clip or freeze frame and go directly to color tab. In color tab, we'll do a little bit more space. So we close that one and go to window. Uh, in window, you have like power tools so choose pen tool pen tool we will do the all the dots around the uh, around the ballerina so basically we're gonna mask her out from the background And we are done. So next step is to zoom out, use the scroll wheel. And what we have to do now is to go to notes and right click and add alpha output. So alpha output will basically extract our ballerina from the background. We, it will be visible. So let's connect those two. And you already see the ballerina that is crossing the road. So what we can do, go to edit page and uh, look what we have here. So let's go to the full screen. And yeah, great. I like it. Hopefully you like it too. So one small thing that we still have to do is go a little bit back. So we, we will put a little bit uh, smoothness here. So let's go back to color tab or color page. And we will leave a soft one uh, as it is. So inside we will change quite a bit. So because we have to cut the black color as you see. So I go around 80. Outside we only go like, uh, like 14, 12. 12 will, will be okay. So let's go back to edit page, leave it to render it, go to full screen and see it again. What we got, so let's see the, yeah, great. So. This one, 
basically you can see the blackness uh, all irregularity just disappeared yeah so that is how you can make your clone trail effect this effect can be used in music videos it can, it can be used like in travel videos uh, you can also do the product video as well so we have a lot of options uh, I would say that's all for today folks and uh, I hope uh, you will be with me next time uh, I wish you all well and see you next time looks nice right should you like this video hit that like button for all those who would like to learn some new tricks or you are new to this channel hit subscribe button this way you will help me to continue making this kind of video tutorials so that's all for today see you all next time till then have a good one